In the entire history of South Korean military enlistment, no idol group has seen as many leaked photos in uniform or as many articles about their achievements as BTS. Almost daily, new articles emerge displaying leaked pictures of the members or detailing how exceptionally they're performing and enjoying their military service. The article's frequency and tone only point to one thing – BTS is used for military propaganda by the government. South Korea's relationship with BDS and mandatory military service is complex, to say the least. With every chart-topping hit and record-breaking performance, the question of enlistment has loomed larger and larger. Fans deeply invested in the group's success champion calls for exemption, proposing alternative paths for BDS to fulfill their national duty. The government kept BDS fans under the constant illusion that an exemption might be underway. But then, in 2022, BDS dropped a bombshell on the global stage. They announced a hideous, not for creative pursuits or personal endeavors, but to fulfill their mandatory military service obligations. With every hello, this is big hit music notice about members' enlistment. Some were saddened about their enlistment, while others started applauding the government for not giving an exemption. Now, for the million dollar question why couldn't BDS get a military exemption despite? their significant economic contributions and role in elevating South Korea's global image? Annually, BDS generates over $5 billion for the South Korean economy and has been pivotal in popularizing K-pop worldwide. One in every 13 tourists in the country is because of them, and the group contributed over $29 trillion to the South Korean economy between 2014 and 2013 when considering both direct and indirect contributions. The 1973 South Korean conscription law provides for exemptions for individuals in fields like athletics and music who have elevated the country's prestige internationally. Given BDS's monumental contributions to South Korea's image and economy, their eligibility for an exemption seems obvious. And the answer to this question is a darker one. BDS appears to be used by the South Korean government once again, and this time it is to spread military propaganda in the disguise of national interest. HYBE and BDS members never had a say in anything, and the debate of whether the members should get an exemption was useless, because it had been planned from the very beginning that BDS would be serving in the military. The government using K-pop and K-drama actors for cover-ups and propaganda is not exactly breaking news. Not only the general population, but also opposing politicians allege that when the government wants to hide news, that may tarnish its image or cause concern for the public, it cooperates with news agencies to release some celebrity scandal news steering people's attention away from politics. For example, when the news about President Lee Myung Bak's controversial investment of over 250 million USD in international businesses broke up, Dispatch discovered the jackpot story of Lee Min Ho and Bae Suzy's relationship. Dispatch found out this news months prior but broke it right when the president's scandal emerged, we started raising suspicions. Now, seeing how the pre-enlistment process went, one thing is evident. BDS had a zero chance of getting any exemption. Currently, all seven members are serving just like any young South Korean man. But as expected, their service is not ordinary. From severe privacy breaches to allegations of BDS being used for good PR, each BDS member's service is unlike that of the average serving member. Right after they enlisted, BDS BDS members' uniformed photos started showing up everywhere. Fans were immediately on high alert. This wasn't typical. Throughout K-pop history, it's extremely rare for idols to have so many leaked photos during their military service, and it didn't stop there. The official army app, the CAM, started posting the members' pictures in uniform without their consent or acknowledgement. They set up individual communities for each member of BDS, even going so far as to use 
the term official. The camp also started selling name tags that can be attached to dolls openly using BDS members' real names. These dolls were marketed at a high price of 56,000 Korean won each. Hi, BDS's agency has repeatedly emphasized the importance of the members' privacy during their service, but all this showcased how even Hype has little to no control when it comes to BDS being used for the military due to their immense popularity. Articles praising BDS and their performance in the military also began appearing frequently, raising suspicions. Before the members finished their six-week basic training, media outlets were already reporting on their exceptional performances. Jin was the first member to enlist and instantly the internet was flooded with articles praising how the military was awarding him due to his extraordinary performance. But as other members started enlisting, the pattern continued which started raising eyebrows. The PR campaign is painting a picture that global superstars like BDS are having such a great time in the military, which shows what a great place it is. Unfortunately, the ground reality is far, far away from this. The South Korean military isn't all sunshine and rainbows. There have been numerous reports of bullying, sexual assault, and mental health struggles among enlisted men. Bullying tactics range from verbal abuse, doing repeated meaningless tasks, standing outside in the cold without a shirt, and physical beatings, often driving some active duty soldiers to commit suicide. The pressure to conform to the strict hierarchy is also something very intense, leading to feelings of isolation and depression. This depression goes on haunting many soldiers throughout their lives. The condition of the Korean military are also not as fair as they are in the USA or Western countries. The men who go to serve in the military have to all to their academic and career activities, but in return, they are severely underpaid, making roughly $520 a month. They have to survive two years on these small paychecks, and those who own small businesses go bankrupt to the point of no return. And it does not stop there. The South Korean government strictly prohibits these soldiers from making money from other sources during their service. Some celebrities have even spoken out about their own negative experiences in 2021. One, Shaney member Thaimin was transferred from the military ban to public service on an emergency basis due to worsening symptoms of depression and anxiety. G Dragon's medical records were released to the public by his doctors, and some military fellows went to horrible extent of publishing a detailed diagram of G Dragon's body. This diagram specified special body features such as tattoos, moles, and scars, and also included personal information like his lifestyle, behavior, habits, even his list of medication. 2 p.m. The Sean also reported being peaked while showering. Some celebrities have gone to extreme lengths trying to dodge their service using tactics like faking medical records or bribing their way out. Farmer VIXX member Ravi was sentenced to two years of probation and 120 hours of community service for dodging the military by faking epilepsy. Consequently, it ended his career, making him leave the group. Steve, Sun Jung Yoo's music career also ended when he was accused of evading South Korean mandatory military service by becoming a U.S. citizen. He was subsequently banned from entering South Korea, becoming the only person in history to be banned from the country for acquiring another citizenship. All the realities of the Korean military makes it even more controversial how BDS is being showered with praise and used in military propaganda casting a shadow over the whole thing. Namjoon delivered a speech at a graduation ceremony for fellow military recruits. The content of the speech, which has been leaked online, has sparked discussion among fans. In the speech, Namjoon reportedly expressed gratitude and acknowledged the importance of mandatory military service in South Korea, a country with a long history of division and armistice. He also shared positive experiences of camaraderie forged during training. However, the speech has left the fandom divided. Previously, Namjoon posted about DP drama on his Instagram story, which is about the harsh reality of the South Korean military. As soon as the speech started making rounds, even his fan base started bringing up such past stories he posted and the views he used to have about military services. And they were quick to conclude that Namjoon is forced to do most propaganda speeches even 
and for the military. The issue was fueled when BDS's official translator refused to translate Namjoon's letter from the military posted on Weverse and heavily criticized the military. In a long rant, he went on sharing his own traumatic near-death experience and bashed the government for giving exemption to the soccer players who never won any gold for the country, but did not exempt the artists who are the face of South Korea's soft power. If BDS's potential PR manipulation by the South Korean government to cultivate a more positive public image of the military is true, this makes all the effort fans put in for years to avoid enlistment nothing more than a joke. All the press coverage and data breaches raise questions about whether members are actually used for propaganda. This can be the government's attempt to discourage eligible men from making efforts to evade their mandatory service. Many speculate that behind Namjoon's leaked speech, the intended audience was never the international fans or people sitting at home posting opinions online about the country they will never live in. The actual audience is Korean teenagers and young trainees terrified of their upcoming service. Service. We hope BDS's members and the rest of the military men get to complete their service safely in the best conditions and that things are as great as portrayed in the media. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Nuna K for more.